to another radio removal and installation guide. I'm going to try and get this done in under 60 seconds so I don't waste your time. Because I'm doing all this one-handed, I have done a couple of preparations. Right, however, things you're going to need are, first of all, this shape release key. Yeah, the U keys. They're available pretty much any, any motor store. All you do, pop them in the little slots, pull away on each side, the stereo will release. Very simple. Pull the radio out. And that's already popped off, but you've got a quad lock. Just there. Pull a little lever back and it will remove from the back of there. You've got a FACRA aerial, which has got a pin, and you pull it clean off like so. To get to the back of the radio more accessibly, you can pull this pocket out as such. And you're going to need an aerial adapter like so, which plugs in here, like so, click. You're also going to need one of these, an aerial, uh, sorry, a wiring adapter with a power feed on it. comes off your uh, quad lock adapter that you've got, you'll notice it comes down here. This is for an ignition switched power supply, without it your radio will not power up and if you wire it directly to power it's going to flatten the battery overnight. So run your red power cable down, you know, tape it something, tidy it up, all the way down and drop it down underneath the glove box. So it comes down here and there's a foam pad under here. You can drop your foam pad down, it's on little plastic clips. Run your red power cable up along the glove box and bring it out to the fuse box entrance just clear lock. And you're gonna see next to the red 10 amp a 5 amp brown fuse. Plug it if you've got the right thing, which is uh one of these look, it's like a fuse spur thing so you can double up the socket and run power from there that will turn the radio on and off with the ignition and that concludes this video thank you very much for watching please click like if it helped goodbye